Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to create a simple viral Instagram reel in After Effects. First, create a new co and rename it as main. Width 1080, height 9020, duration 10 seconds. Go over here and select rectangle tool. Fill solid color and stroke none. Now I'm going to draw a line like this. To zoom in and out, use mouse wheel up and down. Using hand tool, I can place wherever I want. Now by selecting arrow icon, I'm going to decrease the width of line. Let me place this line in middle. Now go over here and select proportional grid. I'm going to draw a wave lines. For doing this, select pen tool. Make sure fill none. And stroke solid color. Stroke width, I change to 3. With the help of proportional grid, I am going to draw a wave like this. Make sure wave line is on new shape layer. First, add a point over here, add another point over here. To bend the line, just hold the mouse and drag wherever you want to bend the line. Let me rename the shape layers to wave and line. Under wave layer, contents, shape 1, select path. Now you can see these points, adjust each point to make wave animation look good. Now go to rectangle tool and hold the mouse pointer. You can see these shapes, select ellipse tool, draw a small circle, make sure fill solid color and stroke none. Let me zoom into the circle, select this icon right here and place this anchor point on bottom. Open position and place the circle all the way to the left. Let me place this wave layer on top of ball layer. Under wave layer, under path 1, select path, path 1 and shape. Copy these three and go to ball layer. Open position. Make sure play head at the beginning. Paste it. Now you get this animation. Let me add a glow to the ball layer. If it's on presets, add a deep glow. This is a third party plugin. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. Using type tool, I am going to add a test. Let me change the motivation color to red and remaining words to white. Under the test layer, animate. Select character offset. Set keyframe for character offset at the beginning of the timeline, change to 50. Go a few frames forward and change the character offset to 0. Under range selector 1, set keyframe for start at the beginning of the timeline. Go a few frames forward and change the start to 100. Now open opacity and set a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline, change to 0. Go a few frames forward and change the opacity to 100. Go to effects on presets and add deep glow to the test layer. Change exposure to 0 0.10. Now I'm going to animate the wave. Under wave layer, add trim paths. Under trim paths, Set keyframe for yen and start at the beginning of the timeline. Let me change the yen keyframe to 0. Go a few frames forward and change start keyframe to 100. Now you can see the line is following the board. You can adjust the start, first and last keyframe to make sure the line doesn't surpass the board. Now I'm going to animate the yen keyframes. Go over here and change the yen value to 100. Now adjust the first yen keyframe. To change the length of the line. Go back to test layer and set a keyframe for character, offset and start in few frames forward. Go few frames forward and change the start to 0 and character offset to 50. Set a keyframe for opacity and go few frames forward and change opacity to 0. 
so you get this type of animation now for the second part let me add a marker over here go over here and open proportional grid using pen tool i'm going to create a wave like this let me turn off the proportional grid let me rename the shape to layer to wave 2 i'm going to place this layer over here create a duplicate of ball layer i'm going to place it on top delete all keyframes from ball 2 layer let me place this wave 2 layer on top copy these three and paste it on ball 2 position Make sure playhead is at the beginning of the ball 2 layer. Now I want this ball animation to be non-stop. For doing this open position and hold alt key. Add the expression loop out open bracket and close bracket. Let me create a duplicate of test layer and place it on top. Let me change the test discipline color to green. I am going to delete all these in keyframes of test layer. Now for the wave animation under wave 2 layer. Add trim paths. Set keyframe for end at the beginning of the wave 2 layer. Change to 0. Go few frames forward and change the end keyframe to 100. That is the first and second keyframes to make the line follow the board. Yeah, so now if you want to know how to animate like Danko, check out this video right here. If you want to know how to animate like Magnus Media, check out this video right here. And that's it ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You can download this free project file, link in the description. And subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. Give a like if you find this video useful. And thank you for watching.